How do we all get along today? Well, any of you that are familiar with my channel, I built a rock tumbler on the extreme side. It'll do about 100 pounds of rock at a time. Um, uses 10 inch PVC pipe for a drum. But sometimes you just don't need that big. But the base for that, you know, the drive unit and everything, works so daggone good that I wanted to come up with a where I could do more than one batch at a time. That way you could have multiple stages going versus just having one huge one. Had trouble finding any kind of a drum that would fit on there, I think just due to it being so daggone big. So I finally found some 1.6 gallon uh, plastic, I guess you'd call it a keg, from US Plastics Corporation. Um, they're about $35 a piece, and if you had a smaller tumbler, those things would probably work just directly on it. You could probably put some stays inside of it, you know, for a little bit of agitation, which is what I'm gonna do. But got a nice O-ring seal in it, relatively heavy. But for my application, they needed to be bigger. And I also would like to quiet the thing down so I can't hear it in the bedroom and the wife wake me up in the middle of the night saying, hey, the rock polisher, the sound changed. Run down and check it to see if anything terrible happened. So I decided to uh, try to shim it out a little bit. So what I came up with was some 10 inch PVC pipe, which is what I'd use for the base of the original one. I got me some uh, one inch thick decking that I had laying around and I cut me some small blocks out of that and I cut me a piece of PVC about half inch wide just to set it up off the bottom and that just centered it perfectly inside that 10 inch pipe. Um, cut them off the same level as what the jug would be minus a little bit. So set it down in there, set me a sheet of plastic on the floor and then I just used some industrial strength urethane foam. Foamed that in, started at the bottom, worked my way to the top, used the plastic sheeting to keep it from sticking to the floor. Uh, set some weight on it. Got some big old chunks of iron. I set some weights on top of it, let it set overnight. Actually longer than overnight, about two days worth. Uh, come up, peeled the plastic off, and that gave me a nice smooth bottom. That foam filled out nice. So then I took some uh, thin aluminum uh, flashing metal, cut me out a circle, used me some silicone to glue that on the bottom to give me something a little bit stronger than that foam because it's gonna be exposed to my bearing that rides right here in the center. Put her in there, took the upper side, uh, took a knife and just trimmed it all back. Uh, got it down below the lip of the drum. Smoothed it up the best I could. Uh, just took me some silicone, smeared it all around in there to give it a nice, you know, halfway sealed up surface. Gave her a quick paint job. And I believe that that thing is gonna work great. It's not only gonna be where I can run multiple stages at the same time, I think this will make it a lot quieter. That PVC is kind of noisy with the rocks bouncing around in it. So maybe I can get some sleep at night. Well, hope you found it educational and informative. Maybe picked out a couple tidbits for your next project. Uh, if you thought it was interesting, be sure to give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. All that good stuff, always up to something. And if any of y'all are here in the area, we're gonna be at the Fillmore Swap Meet. We're rolling out um, a new venture. It's called Lincoln Creek Creations. So a lot of these rocks we've been polishing up and cutting and uh, you know, working up on our equipment. We're going to try our hands at selling those. Mama has put together some pretty nice jewelry and uh, hope it makes a good venture out of the deal. If not, it'll at least be fun. I like playing with the rocks anyway. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.